Yo, what is good out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a solo money glitch. What you guys have been asking for for so long. It's mad easy. There are a lot of requirements, and you must follow my steps precisely, but I'm sure you will get it fine. I'll explain it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Okay, so now that we're getting into the video, big shout out to NHJYYS for coming up with this entire glitch. He's a really good glitch hunter. Apart from that, I took some tips on 7 cents from KJ7822 and Random Player 1347 So shout out to all those guys who made this video possible. Now, this is what I did. So throw yourself in an invite-only session. I'm doing this on Xbox, by the way, but it works on PS4 as well, and it might work on PC. Now, you need a facility. You might need a Lester Heist text to go back to the facility, so the Doomsday text, okay? We're not sure if that's necessary, but I used it in the video. All right, CEO office. We know for sure Arcadius is working, okay? So Arcadius is the one that works for sure. The other CEO offices might work. CEO garages. You need level two and level three, all right? You want them to be full. You can use either or, two or three, doesn't matter. You need a mod shop with the in your CEO office, okay? So the CEO mod shop. You need custom plates, multiple custom plates. You need an oppressor or a deluxo. And this is the way you want your garage to be full. So I have the garage two uh, at the CEO office that I'm gonna be using. I have my oppressor in there. I have the Benny's car that I'm duping with a custom plate and the rest of the spots are filled with RH8s, okay? So you want that whole garage to be full. All right, and the, the best part is you can get a dupe every two minutes right after you set up everything right here in the beginning. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I don't know if you need to go to the heist room, but that's what I did. If you want to do it exactly like I did in the video, I had no problem doing it this way. OK, so go ahead and just be in your facility, go to quick jobs and start up the doomsday heist quick job. OK, so you're going to see it says looking for job in the bottom right. All right. You just want to be on here for a few seconds. I probably waited too long, but I, you know, I, it still worked for me. So while it's looking for a job, you want to go ahead and press pause, go to online, play jobs, rocks are created, go to missions, and go to Titan of a job, okay? Once you're in Titan of a job, you're just going to simply back out of it. Okay, this is how we're going to merge missions together in the facility. You're going to see what I mean here in a second. If you get that message, just make sure you host it because you want to be able to back out right away or as soon as possible, basically. So we're loading into the job right now. I can go ahead and press B and I can confirm it. So now I'm back. Once you're back, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Go to play quick jobs and start up the doomsday heist. Okay, so right now it's looking for one of these jobs. Okay, now right when it starts populating lobby so when it says two out of you know three or two out of four three out of four things like that you'll hear it too you'll hear the little click and stuff like that as well right when that happens you want to go ahead and cancel it the way you do that is you open up your phone and you go to play quick jobs again so you're gonna see right here boom populating lobby i'm gonna open up my phone play quick job doomsday heist and that's it cancels out now open up your interaction menu and you see style it says you cannot access this menu while on a mission that's a good thing that's how you know you are glitched out OK, now that might be all we need to do, but I in the original tutorial that NHJ actually posted, what happened was you needed to accept these Lester Heist texts to go back to the facility. So this is where the, this part could be optional. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, get a buzzard right here just to make it easier. You don't have to do this. You can just go outside and get any vehicle, you know, and call up a CEO helicopter if you want. But uh, yeah, so right now. I oh and I probably should have told you if you're gonna do this way sign in as an MC or a CEO before you do all that stuff now I'm waiting to get the doomsday Lester heist text in on my phone now I ended up going all the way to the CEO office and right when I press right d-pad I got the text so I'm gonna go ahead and just accept that text and it should lead me back over to the uh, to the facility okay so right now I'm back at the facility my style option is still glitched out it still thinks I'm in a mission I'm gonna go ahead and select another buzzard again and right when I go outside boom I get the message once again 
I'm gonna go ahead and accept that Lester Heist text to go back to the facility once again, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my buzzard and then I'm gonna fly over to Arcadius. So we don't know if that is for sure needed when doing this method, but I did it like the original founder posted it, so that's why I did those last two steps right there, okay? If you wanna follow, go ahead. It takes two minutes to do that, okay? It's not that big a deal. Now, once you fly back to your CEO office, remember Arcadius is the one I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Office Garage 2. I'm getting glitched out in Office Garage 2. If you guys wanna try out with different offices, go ahead and let me know what the results are. I just don't have enough time to test everything out thoroughly today. But I was able to get it to work perfectly fine with Arcadius and Garage 2, okay? That was the one I was able to get it to work with perfectly fine. So now that we're in here, remember, I said you need an Oppressor or a Deluxo in there, at least one Retro Custom or Benny's Vehicle to dupe, and a bunch of RH8s. So once you're in your garage, go ahead and drive the Oppressor or Deluxo out. Now, once you drive it out, if you notice, there's no personal vehicle icon. You can press pause and look, there's no PV icon whatsoever. What you, want, what you want to do now is go ahead and go back into that same garage that you pulled that bike or that Deluxo out of. Okay, remember, it has to be an Oppressor or a Deluxo. So I'm going back into Office Garage 2. Now, once I'm back in here, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the vehicle that I want to duplicate, which is my LG Retro Custom. Sells for the most, almost a million dollars, and it has to have a custom plate on it to start out with. Okay? So it has a custom plate on it right now. I'm going to press right D-pad, and it's going to take me into the CEO mod shop. All right? Now that we're in the CEO mod shop, all we're going to do is change the plate on it. Okay? So go ahead and go to plates, and you want to go ahead and go to license and change the plate. Doesn't matter which plate you change it to, just change it to a different plate. So right now I have the virus plate, and I'm going to go ahead and put my roll easy plate on there. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and back out of all this, hit exit the vehicle. Okay? Once you hit exit the vehicle, so I um, should be hitting it right now. There we go. Exit the vehicle. Go ahead and press wire triangle to get back in. And then right now you want to go ahead and just press right on the D-pad. Okay? So press right D-pad and the screen should flicker really weird like that and then drive you back into the garage. Once you're going back into the garage, boom, you actually duplicated the car right there. Okay? So your dupe is right there perfectly fine. Just like that 10 car garage dupe with the facility we were doing a little while back. But uh, yeah, so you'll see the original and the dupe there. What you want to do now is go ahead and head over to your office. So go to the elevator and, and you know, click on the office. So once we're over at the office, what we're going to simply do is just turn around and go back to the elevator. So we're spawning in the office right now. And all I got to do now at this point is go ahead and turn back around, go to the elevator and I'm going to hit exit to ground. Okay. So hit ex exit to ground and you will see that the dupe that we just made that was actually in the CEO office, that's actually going to spawn right outside, right in front of the office for us. Nice and easy to grab. Okay. So we're spawning outside right now and look what's out there waiting for us. Boom. There is our dupe. All right. So the dupe is right there. All you want to simply do is get into it and it should have that plate that you just put on. On, go ahead and drive it over to the same garage you know so I'm driving it around into the uh, office garage right here once I get to the blue light it's gonna ask me which garage I want to drive it into I'm gonna select office garage 2 and since it's full it's gonna say you need to remove a vehicle no problem I got you all right so make sure your garage is full all right so now that we're driving back in, the vehicle I'm going to replace over is an RH8. That's why I said have a bunch of RH8s in there because you're going to be replacing over them. And there we go, guys. We have simply made a dupe just like that. So all you got to do is keep rinsing and repeating from the CEO office. You don't have to go back to the facility whatsoever. That was just the beginning of the glitch. So now to rinse and repeat, just get back on the oppressor or your Deluxo, drive it outside. Okay, just drive it outside. Once we're outside, get off of it. There's no personal vehicle icon. You don't need to keep checking. It won't be there. Don't worry. Go back into the blue light, and it's going to ask you which office garage you want to go to. Select the same one that we've been using, Office Garage 2. We know for sure Office Garage 2 and 3 work perfectly fine with this method. We're not sure if Office Garage 1 will work. Okay? So that needs to be, you know, further tested. Now that we're in this car, the car we want to duplicate, you want to press right on the D-pad. Remember, you want a custom plate on this originally, all right, to get started out with. So once we've entered the CEO mod shop, you want to simply modify the vehicle by changing the plate. So we're going to press up and go all the way to the plate section. Go, there we go. Go to license and we're going to select just a different plate. Now that I've selected a different plate, I'm just going to back out of the menus and hit exit vehicle. Once I've exited the vehicle, I'm just going to hop back in by pressing Y or triangle, 
and then you want to go ahead and press right D-pad. All right. So I'm going to press right D-pad right here and the screen will flicker right there, kind of glitch out with the mod shop and then drive you right back into the CEO garage and boom, you should have your dupe waiting for you right there. Nice and easy, okay? Well, it's not waiting for you, but you got to do a little bit more, but that's how you first just, you know, initially dupe the car. Now that we've duped the car, you want to simply go over to the elevator and hit on the office, okay? So we're going to be headed to the office right now. And guys, this is this is all you're doing. You're just going back from mod shop to office to ground, mod shop office to ground, basically. You're just rinsing, repeating these last few steps. Super, super dope glitch. Okay, so now that we're at the office, uh, for some reason, I decided to go over to my receptionist right now. Not sure. I had a momentary lapse right there. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back to the elevator and hit on exit, the gr exit to ground, okay? So... We're gonna hit on exit to ground, and like before, that second dupe that was just sitting there in the CEO office, that should appear right outside for us. You must go to the office first and then go to the ground. You can't just go to ground, uh, it won't work, okay? You must go to the office first. So as you can see right here, our dupe is waiting for us, and you wanna simply just drive this right back into the CEO garage, the same one we were using before. All right, Office Garage 2, it's going to ask you to replace a vehicle. You're going to say yes, and you're going to replace over one of those RH8s. And just keep rinsing and repeating this over and over and over again, okay? So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, we need more testing to know if other CEO garages work with this. We know 100% Arcadius works, but uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.